Niels Henrik David Bohr was born on October 7, 1885 in Copenhagen, Denmark. His parents were Christian and Ellen Bohr. Christian Bohr was a well-known physiologist. Niels grew up around science and scientists, so his interest in physics was not unlikely. Niels studied at the University of Copenhagen. There he received his master's and doctorate in physics. After studying at Copenhagen University, he moved to England to study with J.J. Thompson at Cambridge University. His work with Thompson helped him to realize that different laws govern the atom when it is absorbing and emitting radiation. As he continued his studies, his famous model of the atom was developed. Bohr's model, the planetary model, showed the nucleus in the center surrounded by rings or energy levels. Bohr's atomic model was largely based off of quantum mechanics and the radiation theory created by Max Planck. Planck was a German theoretical physicist who won the Nobel Prize for his work in quantum theory. Bohr proved that electrons existed in certain orbits and that when the electrons are excited by energy, they make quantum leaps between the orbits. When an electron absorbs energy, it makes a jump to a higher energy level or orbit. Opposingly, when an electron releases energy, it leaps back to a lower energy level. After his model was complete, Bohr started studying quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics is a branch of quantum physics that works with the mathematical explanation of how subatomic particles interact. Bohr once said, quote, If quantum mechanics hasn't profoundly shocked you, you haven't understood it yet. End quote. While studying quantum mechanics, Bohr began to develop his principle of complementarity. Before Bohr's principle of complementarity, scientists only thought that light acted as a particle or a wave. Bohr said light acted as both a wave and a particle. In certain experiments, light acted as a wave, whereas in other experiments, it acted as a particle, therefore making light both a wave and a particle. This is called wave-particle duality. His principle of complementarity helped to take steps towards explaining why light existed. After studying quantum mechanics, Bohr began to research the splitting of atoms known as the fission process. Bohr proved that the isotope uranium-235 is fissile while the isotope uranium-238 is fissionable. Fissile means that slow-moving neutrons can cause fission and fissionable means that only fast-moving neutrons can cause fission. During that period of time, Niels Bohr was one of the only people to understand the fission process. Niels Bohr left a long-lasting legacy that is still evident today. His atomic model led to the development of the cloud model created by Erwin Schrödinger and Werner Heisenberg. Bohr founded the Institute for Theoretical Physics in 1917 in Copenhagen, Denmark. Physicists like Max Born and Paul Dirac studied at the Institute. Today, many people still study there. Niels Bohr also participated in the creation of the atomic bomb in the Manhattan Project. After he and the other scientists realized how powerful the bomb was, they joined a group called SANA, or Scientists Against Nuclear Arms. The group stressed the need for international control of atomic energy and weapons. Bohr's atomic model now teaches people how an atom is set up and how it works. Niels Bohr was an extraordinary scientist who changed how people viewed the atom.